Hello, welcome back. Basically, this video is not gonna end until I read a book that is five stars. So this could be a very long video. I am starting off risky with a risk. First book I'm gonna be reading is The Shadows Between Us. I've heard that it's like really bad. I've heard that it's really good. I've heard that it's bad, but really entertaining, but we'll see. I just wanna have fun. I'm just in the mood for another fantasy romance. I need more enemies to lovers. We're just gonna get right into it and see if it's good. And I like that it's short. How many pages is this? I need to not look at a spoiler. 324. Let's do this. <laughs> Chapter 7. I read quite a bit. The words are kind of big, so that's helping me a lot. I just want to say, this book is reminding me so much of Heartless by Marissa Meyer. The way that they're dressing, the way they're speaking and acting, the whole like court, everything. I feel like I'm reading the same thing. So far, I'm not, I mean, I'm only 50 some pages in. I'm not feeling any chemistry. I need to just fucking speed read this shit. I don't know how to do that, really. It's like two days later, and I just finished this book. What a way to start off this video. This felt so weird. This reminded me of Heartless, but like not good. It also somehow reminded me of like a video game. You know when the characters are like talking and you have to like skip through the dialogue. It felt like that. I don't know why. I did skim a lot of it. I did not need to read this. I truly would have been fine without reading this. It was so dragged out, but like when the big things happened, they happened so abruptly and it made no sense and then just moved on. The girl in this book was supposed to be like smart and like cunning and manipulative. Then there were some things that happened and I'm just like, how are you doing all this? But then you're also dumb. The book ends so abruptly also, like I think I'm giving it two and a half stars, but after processing, it might go down to two stars. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes my review changes. This was a rough start, but hopefully it's gonna get better. What was this? How did we get here? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna switch my uh, tactics. I think I'm gonna do a romance next. I'm gonna read a not so meet cute by Megan Quinn. It is on Kim Kindle Unlimited, so I'm gonna read my Kindle for the next one. wondering when it's my turn to run into a billionaire on the street who then suggests fake dating and then we fall in love when is it my turn just curious just been wondering <laughs> anyways i'm liking the book so far i'm about 35 percent in i think i'm having a great time i'm like speed reading i've never been able to do that before <laughs> I'm just, I'm just wondering, wondering when, when it's my turn to, to run into a billionaire and then we fall in love. <laughs> I'm gonna actually, I don't know if I can read this part. Oh no. The secondhand embarrassment I'm feeling right now. Like actually, I don't know if I can read this part. Actually, it's not even funny. No, I don't like this. I'm so uncomfortable. No, why would you do this? Why would you just, why would you just not? She did not say that. I'm gonna actually curl inside of my body and pass away. I cannot do this right now. I'm so uncomfortable. Okay, it's not real. It's not real. You can read it. <sighs> Why would you do that in a business setting? I'm feeling ill. I'm so happy that these are not random business people in this room and they're his brothers because if they were random people, I don't think I could continue reading. I think I would have to stop. So last night I finished a not so meet you. Literally just almost forgot what the book's called. It was great. I loved it. I don't think I've ever laughed that hard while reading a book. Ever. Like I was literally laughing out loud. <laughs> and that book was so fucking funny and the dialogue was so good. I just was like actually laughing which does not normally happen. That was fun. It was not five stars though, sadly. I gave it four and a half, 4.5 out of five. Basically they start fake dating. They run into each other on the street. He needs her to be his fake fiance. She needs him to be her fake rich husband. I thought that was cute. It's very cliche, but I liked 
it. I liked how it was done. I read this shit so fast. I read this in two days, which is fast for me. Love that it, it was dual point of view. Recommend fully. I just started. What did I stop? Uh, no, what did I stop? <laughs> I just started Flawless by Elsie Silver. Flawless, a small town enemies to lovers romance. I've seen so many good things about this book series. So I started that 10 minutes ago. I don't know how I'm feeling about it yet. I mean, I'm only, what page am I on? 28. It's been more than 10 minutes, I'm pretty sure. I want to read a fantasy, but I don't know what to read. Anyway, I'm going to read this book. You know you see me standing here. I'm not gonna lie, I hate in books when the main character says not today Satan. Why are we saying that? It just throws me off. I don't know how I'm feeling about this book right now. It's feeling very much older people trying to be young by saying things that they think young people say. You know what I'm saying? Like pick a parent or like say something to try to seem like they're cool. That's what this book is giving. Everything that they're saying, I'm just like, ah. Like the one dude says something and the other guy just goes, facts. I don't know why. It's like not, it's not sitting right. It's so bad. And then her saying, not today, Satan. It's just like, it's throwing me off a little. Also, I know it's like a cowboy romance, but it's one of those books where like, I'm a manly man. I, I don't do anything feminine. You won't catch me. I am masculine. She talks about how he smells like leather and she's like, I wonder if it's his cowboy boots or if it's just because he's such a manly masculine man. I just, I don't think I'm a fan. I'm on page, oh, I'm on page 74 already, wow. I'm on page 74 and it's happened maybe six times already. I'm like, we barely got into the story. I'm on page one something, 144. And I think masculine, masculinity is the most used word in this book. I don't know why I'm getting so frustrated. She looks at him and she goes, fuck, he really is hot. I've been trying so hard not to admit that to myself. Girl, now you haven't. You have said how hot he is and how good he looks at least 10 times. Anytime he shows up in any room, you're like, oh my God, his, his body is so hot and muscular and toned. Flawless. I don't know how I feel about that. It was cute. It was fine. Mm. I mean, it wasn't five stars. I will tell you that. Ooh. Oh my god. Towards the end, I honestly got that feeling of like, all right, let's get this over with. I think I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. It was a little disappointing. That one kind of hurt my brain. I don't know what I'm gonna read next. Uh, kind of over romances, but also what else do I read if I don't read a romance? I kind of wanna... I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna read Love in Other Words because I feel like that has real potential to be a five star. But also, I don't wanna read another romance right now. Oh no, what do I do? I'm like not in the mood for any of these books on my shelf. This is bad. All right, we're bringing in the big guns, possibly. Hopefully. Starting Love in Other Words. It's been a few hours. I have been putting off starting another book because I'm just scared. I'm scared, terrified, but excited. I just didn't want to read another book that was less than four stars. <sighs> page 66 and i already feel like this book is gonna make me cry i cannot handle this right now he didn't i'm already team elliot damn fuck he did what i know this is gonna emotionally ruin me it's been an hour i'm on page 66 this is the speed at which i am reading currently i can't even i can't even process this so what am i supposed to do No way! What did this man do? What did he do? What did he do? <sighs> Shit. Freaking out right now. I'm on page 349. I feel like things are happening. I'm about to find out what's going on and what the reasoning is. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm about to cry. I don't even know what's happening yet. I literally have this much left. It's so good. I cannot deal with this. This book smells good. I'm scared. I'm actually scared. is 
breaking. It's being ripped out of my chest and being eviscerated right now. <laughs> stressing me out because why did they just end the chapter like that and it's really it's really hurting me because it like goes back and forth now and then then which is like 11 years ago and so then now it ends the chapter on like a cliffhanger and i don't know what's gonna happen next because we switched to then what did he say what did he say i've reread this little part like six times and i can't figure out what he said what did he say i don't know what's gonna happen until i finish the next chapter i, I made food i literally made food and it's sitting there and i don't want to eat it because i want to read i am very mad right now what the fuck i don't like how this just made a turn oh this just made me so mad i'm on page 372 if you're curious the way things flipped all of a sudden it doesn't make sense to me oh i i get he's probably like very upset but why would you go from one end of the spectrum to the other in the matter of 0.2 seconds i can't i can't find out what you did and then you be rude Ooh, i'm seething <sighs> I think I might have just figured out what's happening. I haven't read it yet, but I think I'm getting the clues. What am I supposed to do right now? Alright, it's been a few days. I needed time to process. But I finished Love in Other Words and I think we found our five star. I did not think this was gonna happen in four books. But I'm not mad at it. This shit was so good. After I finished the end, the ending is so like, it's a lot. I was crying. It was so good though. One of the main criteria for me for like rating a book five stars is how entertaining it was, but also how much is this gonna affect my life? Like how much am I gonna think about this book? in the future. How much will this impact me? Like I'm on to other books. I'm I'm on to other books. It's been a few days. I have not stopped thinking about these characters and what happens in this book. And I just love them. I love this fucking book so much. And it ripped my heart out, shredded it to pieces, and then put it back in. So good. Oh, it's so good. I read this book in two days. I flew through this shit. I didn't even put it down. From the beginning, this shit was so good. I just enjoyed how it was written. I think that they did the back and forth of the times really well. The amount of love in this book, like literally love. It's the first word of the title. I was not expecting this much love. The summer vibes, the cabin. Cabin. Also, one of the things I loved so much about this book is like they both read. Oh, cute! They both read, and I just I don't know. I love reading about people who also love books. The closet, the closet. Imagine having that. That is that was my dream as a child. The title of this book is perfect. Elliot is amazing. I love him. Macy was so it was so easy to read from her point of view. Sometimes it's hard to be in some characters' minds. There are some lines in this book that just broke my like shattered my fucking heart. I literally. They would never stop thinking about this book so five stars thank you christina lauren it's on the five star roster now read this fucking book read this fucking book okay you understand the video is ended now because we found a five star that's it hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye in the name of some can you okay if you're not gonna stay close you're gonna go in the bottom they're gonna be fucking rude